Hey, 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 family, it's your girl Evelyn, and I am back with another video. And in this video, I thought I'd bring together the best of both worlds, meaning I'm going to put on my Evelyn Ink hat and my Chef Evelyn hat at the same time. And we're going to talk about healthy eating as an entrepreneur, why eating healthy is obviously a form of self-care. So eating well as an entrepreneur has, I think, different struggles than when I was a corporate employee. I think for me, when I was a corporate employee, one of the struggles I had was taking my lunch to work every day when they were having you know, pizza day and it was somebody's birthday or somebody was leaving and there was always cake and snacks and junk. There was all of that kind of stuff. And so now that I don't work in a corporate office setting, I have a different set of challenges when it comes to eating healthy, like not eating or <laughs> or not getting up and moving around. So in today's video, I want to kind of talk to you about some tips on how to eat well as a entrepreneur. And my first tip is that even if you work from home, still act like you work in an office. So one of the things that I have found that's been really beneficial is to still pack my lunch and segment out food and salads or things like that, that I can go and grab and eat throughout the day so that I don't necessarily have to cook in the middle of my workday because I normally wouldn't be doing that if I was working for a corporation. Sometimes for me, because I am a chef in another life, okay, on another channel, I do cook in the middle of the daytime, but that cooking is working, right? And so when I'm doing the rest of my stuff, the behind the scenes stuff, recording videos for you guys, like I'm doing right now, doing admin stuff, working with clients, teaching, coaching, all of that kind of stuff, I don't necessarily wanna be cooking in the middle of the day. So I find that having food ready and portioned and ready for me to go is a great way to keep me on track. The second thing I wanna recommend for eating well as an entrepreneur is to actually take a lunch break. I know we are super passionate about our businesses, we're super passionate about our projects, and we're super passionate about what we're doing. And sometimes we'll just grab something to eat and we'll eat at our desk and we'll eat it at, at our laptop and we're just chewing and going, chewing and, and typing and chewing and creating. And that's actually not really good for us. One of the things that I was told when I was seeing all of my doctors for my cancer treatment in 2016 is that I need to make sure that every time I eat, I'm eating in a relaxed position. And so I always make sure that I take the time out to actually sit down at a table, decompress and take a full on lunch break. Sometimes that lunch break is accompanied by a dance break. Sometimes it's accompanied by a karaoke break, but I'm just doing something to indicate to my body that we're shifting into a time of replenishment and nourishment and also having that built into my day, make sure in, in ensures that I eat because sometimes I'm so in the thick of it and I'm so into it that I look up and it's three o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't even had breakfast. So what's great about having the food already prepared and then knowing that I'm going to actually take a break is it reminds me, hey, you're probably hungry. And I can tell you nine times out of 10, 10 times out of nine, when I stop and break to eat, my mind all of a sudden is like, girl, you hungry. Why you, why you haven't been feeding us? What are you doing? I, like, so I, that's my second tip is to actually take a break. My third tip is to schedule your cooking and your shopping the same way you schedule your content, which is you know when and where your content is going to be published and when it's going to go and you back that up to when you need to prepare it. So I say don't create an eating plan. Most people's meal plans is an eating plan. I say create a cooking plan. When are you going to shop? When are you going to cook? And then you can flex on when you eat that, but you have things ready. And then lastly, I say mix it up. I wouldn't subscribe to necessarily a diet. I find that diets are really restrictive and they're a form of defensive eating. I'm much more of a fan of offensive eating. And if you follow me on my Chef Evelyn social media or on my channels, I'm gonna be talking about that in the next couple of weeks about the difference between defensive eating and offensive eating. And so I say what you really wanna focus on is how many colors of the rainbow can you consume in a 
revolving 48 hour period and how many different shades so while you may have green did you have dark green light green you know medium green lime green you know forest green did you have blue did you have purple did you have orange yellow red did you have red fruit did you have something red that was more savory yellow vegetable yellow fruit right so um, mixing it up and making sure that you are getting as many colors of the rainbow aka nutrients in your diet in a revolving 48 hour period and then my last tip is to fill up several water bottles i personally like to use glass water bottles and put them on your desk that way it keeps you from mindlessly snacking and it doesn't affect the productivity of your work so if you're at your desk and nine times out of ten sometimes when we think we're hungry we're actually just thirsty so drink some water you're already at your desk and you can keep flowing and I find that if the water is directly in front of me I drink more water throughout the day but if I have to wait and stop and think oh my goodness I'm thirsty let me get up and go and get some water I'm less likely to do it because I'm usually in the flow in the zone y'all feel me I've got the tabs open I've got my project management tool open I've got doc documents open I got PDFs open I got email open I'm in the zone I'm working the creative juices are flowing and a lot of times I'm like I don't want to get up just to get some water but if that water is right there it keeps me hydrated it keeps me creative and keeps me on task so wanted to come and share those tips with you on healthy eating eating well as an entrepreneur I hope that you kind of enjoyed the two worlds coming and mashing together and uh, I hope to see you in my next video peace